What's going on YouTube? GSNOR right here. A massive iOS vulnerability was patched in iOS 18.3.1 and this one is the biggest one yet. So if you go ahead here on Twitter, there is an article now posted about unrestricting the restricted mode for USB on iPhone. Now this is a vulnerability patched in iOS 18.3.1. So essentially it's the only thing patched in 18.3.1 as you can see over here released on February the 10th and it's a bug in accessibility. Now this is essentially for all devices, but iPhone XSM later for what is worth. And it says impact, a physical attack may disable USB restricted mode on locked devices. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited in an extremely sophisticated attack against specific targeted individuals. And an authorization issue was addressed with improved state management. Now, this is a very long and winded way of saying that this was used by hackers before and somebody has been targeted already with this kind of attack. This is actually quite big, we're gonna get into it but first, this video is brought to you by Flexstore. They provide essentially jailbreak without jailbreak because they provide a lot of tweaks and apps and you know various utilities without being jailbroken. You can essentially sign your own apps. You can use your own certificates, including your developer certificates, P12s and so on, and sign IPA files directly on the device. Check it out, especially if you need to install your jailbreak applications without a computer. Right, so the vulnerability itself was detailed over here. I'm gonna link the blog post down below. But for those of you who are unaware, the USB restricted mode is this pop-up that appears if you keep your device locked for over an hour. And this one needs to be turned on in settings, but it says accessory connected, unlock iPhone to use accessories. And this would happen if you, for example, connect your charging cable to the computer, but the device is locked and it's been locked for an hour. So it wouldn't let the device connect to the computer. It won't let the computer even try to pair with the device before you unlock the device. It's a neat feature and it prevents a huge attack surface for hackers and so on. However, the USB restrict mode was defeated. To better understand how big of a vulnerability this one is, this account posted here that there is a bug bounty of $1 million for such a vulnerability. It's a big vulnerability and it really is essentially killing one of the biggest features in iOS security. Now this was indeed defeated and you can find the patch information over here. It turns out that the uh, device was not checking properly the uh, state of this lock while the assistive touch was enabled. So this little thing over here that simulates the home button and a couple other things. And they were able to trigger the vulnerability and bypass that thing. It would show up this pop-up switch control accessory. So adding a switch control USB accessory will allow other USB accessories to connect even when your iPhone is locked. You can change that in settings. And once you press OK, you can connect to the device through the computer and it would essentially bypass the whole thing. So that is indeed concerning. It's a huge vulnerability. Apple dedicated a whole entire patch, a whole entire iOS version just to fix this. So if you are indeed interested in your security, you should go ahead and update 18.3.1 right now to get the patch. The chances are you're never going to encounter an attack against yourself that uses this vulnerability. However, any accessory charging station, you know, public charging station at a restaurant, or library or on the street that you use could potentially use this exploit in order to connect to the device. You now cannot know anymore because it's now public and it's now available for iOS 18.3 and lower. Yep, thank you for watching. That's basically it. Huge vulnerability. Don't know how useful it would be for jailbreak though, but it's still a massive vulnerability. And for those of you who are interested in privacy and security for your device more than jailbreaking, you should definitely update. Thank you for watching. I'm GSNow. Peace out.